Loom World, the war continues as Spider-Woman and Spider-Gwen battles the Hounds of the Inheritors. Peter Parker and his spider army arrives to lend a helping hand, but Spider-Gwen demands that she is given space to finish off her battle. The army stands victorious, but unfortunately, the Inheritors now have Silk in their possession. Meanwhile, Morlin returns home and announces that their father is now dead. But Janix reveals that their father is not yet dead, but rather the essence of Lord Solus is in this red crystal. Even though Janix's cloning facility has been destroyed, their father is not yet lost. The Spider Weaver announces that the army has broken through and is now en route to the main chamber. Elsewhere, the Spider Army has breached the walls, but Verna and the twins are waiting. Parker calls on Miles Morales and his army, and thus the Web Warriors enters the fray. Parker leads his splintered team to continue their race to save Silk, Kane, and Baby Benji. In the ritual chamber, Moreland and Deimos prepares to bleed out Baby Benji with a dagger, but suddenly the amazing Spider-Man and the superior Spider-Man stops Moreland from doing the unthinkable. The spiders engage the inheritors. The superior Spider-Man gets his extra arms ripped to shreds by Deimos. Mayday Parker is up next to take sweet revenge for her father. Parker calls on his Uncle Ben for help, but unfortunately, Spider Ben has shown his cowardice and teleports away to safety. Outside, the battle rages on with the army taking a beating from Gen X, the twins, and Verna. The Spider army is losing ground, but suddenly, a doorway opens and in comes Karn. After all of these centuries, the prodigal son returns. The twins are overjoyed, believing that with the help of their lost brother, they will win this war. But then Karn states, on your side, brother? For eons, this family has spurned me, shunned me, brought me nothing but pain. I renounce my inheritance. The shadows behind the prodigal son enters the light, and an army of spider totems along with an inheritor are ready to enter the war. Karn states, From this day forth, I shall fight on the side of righteousness. Back in the ritual chamber, Morlin fights through the spiders to baby Benji, but then he gets a hoof to the head. We discover that Spider Ham has switched places with baby Benji, and the cowardice of Uncle Ben was actually a ruse. Baby Benji is now safe with Uncle Ben in another reality. Back outside, even with Karn's help, the spider army is losing. A flash of light brings forth Spider-Man 2099, the Lady Spider, and the Leopardon, which brings sweet sweet tears to the Japanese Spider-Man, seeing his 50 foot tall robot sidekick again. Back in the ritual chamber, the superior Spider-Man has had enough of this, and comes up with his own plans to end the inheritor's future. He goes for the spider weaver and slashes him in the throat. This act angers Morlin and Peter Parker. Parker states, that wasn't part of the plan. We are heroes, dammit, and heroes do not kill. Mayday Parker manages to take the essence of Lord Solus from Deimos. She now holds the life of Deimos' father in her hands. For the love of his father, this brings Deimos to his knees. But Mayday finally sees the light and decides not to destroy the crystal. In memory of her father, she will not seek vengeance, only justice. Morlin, angered by the loss of the Spider Weaver, viciously attacks Peter Parker. He begins to suck the life out of Parker, but the army arrives to prepare to attack the Inheritor. Gwen stops the army by telling them to stand down. Parker has a plan. Parker, with his essence leaving him, manages to activate a portal, sucking him and Morlin through. They land on Earth 3145, the Radiation Zone. Parker has done it. He will sacrifice his life in the radiation devastated world to trap Morlin. But Parker is the hero of the story, and he cannot die. Silk sends Parker a lifeline, and thus he swings out of this world and back to Loom World. Later, Karn has the honors of throwing his siblings into Earth 3145, the radiated world. The next to enter is Deimos, but he is confused as to why they would show him and his father mercy. Mayday Parker has nothing left to say to this inheritor, and throws the soulless crystal into the radiation world for Deimos to go fetch. The heroes regroup, but Peter Parker, who had a lot of his life essence drained, finally found time to relax in the arms of Cindy Moon. What's going on guys, welcome to Comic Island! My name is Joey, and today we are reviewing and recapping the Amazing Spider-Man issue 14, the finale to the Spider-Verse. So the biggest question we have now is, was the end payoff worth the journey? So let's review this issue first, and then we can talk about the entire Spider-Verse. 
This issue was just awesome and very satisfying, but it's hard to find a great ending to such a great journey. Even though it didn't go the way I thought it would, I still adored this issue. Let's take a look at a few things that worked so well for me. This was the only issue that shows Deimos as being more than just a brute. We actually see that he has so much love for his father. He surrenders just because Mayday stole his father's essence away from him. And then he goes as far as running head first into the radiation zone just to retrieve the crystal that holds his father. Deimos for me is the breakout star of this issue, but it's a shame because the Spider-Verse is over. So I originally thought that a lot of the spider army would die in this last battle, but I don't think we saw any spider deaths. As far as I know, no one in the spider army died. I would like to see a few deaths, just to show some devastation and the chance that the inheritors are winning. Of course we know that the army has Karn and the Leopardon up their sleeves, so we know the inheritors wouldn't stand much of a chance. So I was hoping for a bit more in this last battle. It was great having Karn turn on his family, and I got chills when Karn returns home, and then we also got the Leo pardon back. In an issue with so many personalities, I thought Karn got some good screen time, but I wanted to see the Leo pardon kick some ass. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> Now let's take a look at the Spider Weaver. From what I understand, he weaves the threads of future and can predict prophecy. He also opened doorways for the Inheritors to travel the multiverse. So with him now dead, I guess the Inheritors will be stuck in the radiation zone. Can they even survive in that world? <laughs> Obviously, they are not yet dead and that being said, it opens up the possibilities for the Inheritors to return one day. And I assume Lord Solus would be brought back as well. So that was a bit disappointing. I wanted to see some Inheritor deaths. Even though Mayday did the right thing, I kinda wanted to see her kill Deimos. Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm evil. <laughs> oh, by the way, what happened to Kane? We saw him being stabbed through the head by Morlin. Is Kane dead? And now what will happen to the superior Spider-Man? We know he lost his memories and be brought back to his time with only 9 hours gone. I'm gonna speculate that the spider army subdues Doc Ock and mind wipes him and throws him back to his own time. <laughs> So this is my final thoughts on the Spider-Verse and this issue. The journey was better than the end. I enjoyed Spider-Verse so much during the middle. Don't get me wrong, the ending was great, but it didn't tie up any loose ends. But of course, we will get epilogue issues for that. I love the Spider-Ham. He was the big humor relief of this event. I'm also glad that Spider-UK didn't die, but at least give me some Spider-Deaths. <laughs> it felt like the Inheritors didn't stand a chance knowing what the Spider-Army has in their battalion. Alrighty guys, so what do you think about the Spider-Verse as a whole? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for following my coverage of the Spider-Verse. If you missed any issues and want to backtrack, you can find the entire Spider-Verse reading order checklist on comicisland.org. The link will be in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the amazing Spider-Man issue 15.